if the United States wants to continue trade talks, they should show sincerity and correct their wrong actions. Negotiations can only continue on the basis of equality and mutual respect, Chinese Commerce Ministry spokesman Gao Fen told a weekly briefing. We will closely monitor relevant developments and prepare necessary responses, he said, without elaborating. The United States has accused Hawaii of working for the Chinese government and engaging in activities contrary to national security, accusations Hawaii denies. The Trump administration softened its stance slightly this week by granting the firm a license to buy U.S. goods until August 19 to minimize disruption for customers. False statement, however, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo kept up the pressure against Hawaii in a CNBC interview on Thursday, saying its founder chief executive was lying about his company's ties to the Beijing government. That's just false. To say that they don't work with the Chinese government is a false statement. He is required by Chinese law to do that. The Hawaii CEO, on that at least, isn't telling the American people the truth, nor the world, Pompeo said. Pompeo said he expected other American companies to cut ties with Hawaii as the risk of doing business with it becomes clear. What we are witnessing is a potential reconfiguration of global trade as it has stood since World War II, investors should begin thinking about how sensitive their portfolios are to global supply chain exposed shocks, Saxo Bank's head of equity strategy, Peter Garnry, wrote in a note titled, Are You Ready for a Cold War in Tech? Hawaii founder Ren Zhenfei told Chinese financial magazine Kaixin on Thursday that he did not see ARM's decision to suspend business with Hawaii as having an impact on the company. Industry experts have called out Hawaii for its claims it could ensure a steady supply chain without U.S. help, saying the technology it buys from American companies would be hard to replace. No further trade talks between top Chinese and U.S. negotiators have been scheduled since the last round ended on May 10, when U.S. President Donald Trump sharply hiked tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese goods and took steps to levy duties on all remaining Chinese imports. China has retaliated with its own levies on U.S. imports, but it was Washington's subsequent move against Hawaii that took the trade war into a new phase stoking fears about risks to global growth and knocking financial markets.